President Biden moments ago calling on New York Governor Andrew Cuomo and saying he should resign. This comes after state investigators say he broke the law by sexually harassing 11 women and retaliated against a former employee. Back in March, you said that if the investigation confirmed the allegations against Governor Cuomo, then he should resign. So will you now call on him to resign, given the investigator said the 11 women were credible? I stand by that statement. Are you now calling on him to resign? Yes. And if he doesn't resign, do you believe he should be impeached and removed from office? Let's take one thing at a time here. I think he should resign. Cuomo, defiant as ever, claiming the investigation is political and says he did nothing wrong. I want you to know directly from me that I never touched anyone inappropriately or made inappropriate sexual advances. They ascribe motives I never had. And simply put, they heard things that I just didn't say. And Cuomo trying to defend himself by claiming he kisses everyone and showing this very bizarre and horrible picture montage. I love the montage. Me too. <laughs> There we are. The montage was horrible. <laughs> but a couple of people, we have it now. We've got to play it for you. Let's watch. Indeed, there are hundreds, if not thousands, of photos of me using the exact same gesture. I do it with everyone black and white, young and old, straight and LGBTQ. Powerful people, friends, strangers, people who I meet on the street. <laughs> well, the one we didn't show you was the ones where he used President Obama and President Bush hugging hurricane victims as if that was the same thing. Jesse, it looks like you brought some thoughts. I have the report here. Needed a forklift to get into the studio. Did I read the whole thing? I no. read the executive summary. <laughs> pretty damning. I thought we had the worst mayor, now we have the worst governor. So these are the allegations. Kissing on the lips, grabbing butts and breasts, <laughs> asked a state trooper if she could help him find a girlfriend who could, quote, handle pain. Love it. Oh, Groping oh. waists, legs, and back, sliding hands pretty much everywhere, and just relentlessly hitting on every aide that was alone <laughs> with him in an elevator or his office. Oh, my ad. Now, this report was written by an AG who has aspirations politically, and it said these, all these women were uncomfortable, scared, humiliated, and offended, and the AG found his responses contrived and lacking credibility, and then he just denied everything and said that they, it was misinterpreted or even accused some of the women of initiating the physical contact. Some of the stuff was interesting. It could be like obvious misinterpretation. So he brings some woman into his office and he shows the woman a humidor that President Clinton had given as a gift. Clinton, And huh? he explains the humidor and she perceives that as some sort of subtle romantic suggestion involving Monica Lewinsky. We get it. Now he counters that he shows people that come into his office gifts from all types of people. And one of the things he says that inside the humidor here, we have legal Cuban cigars. We got these cigars before the embargo was put up. So that's open to interpretation. The video is incredible because I actually thought it was convincing until he shows videos and pictures of Obama hugging hurricane victims and George H.W. Bush hugging Katrina victims, the, the, the line is, you can hug or kiss on the cheek. He was grabbing you know what and kissing on the mouth. That is unacceptable. So he says New Yorkers aren't naive and they're not going to go for this and they know it's political. And you know what? Maybe it's an Italian thing. You're right? And that's what Italians do, and that's what old guys do. And I'm just going to. You gonna, looked at me. I'm, I'm sorry. And I'm going to hire a consultant to tell me maybe I shouldn't do this anymore. Case closed. Can he hold on? Well, I don't know. I, mean, I don't know. The news that was just made right before the show was that Joe Biden stood by what he had said back in, I think, March or April, mm -hmm. in which he said that if he's uh, found to be guilty, he should be um, uh, resigned. And that he might even be prosecuted. He, that, so President Biden, though, Katie, just now in his press conference, he doesn't answer the question by saying Andrew Cuomo should resign. He just says yes, yes, so that you don't actually have the words. But the meaning is there. He's calling on the governor to resign. Does 
Cuomo survived this part. Well, back in March, Joe Biden walked himself into a corner by answering a hypothetical because the question was, if these things turn out to be true, will you ask him to resign? Should he resign? He said yes. So today he had the option of going back on his word or saying that he should resign by simply answering the question yes. If I were advising a Governor Cuomo being paid to advise him, or if I were his brother, who is a, <laughs> an anchor at another network, I would advise him not to resign. I would say the Democratic Party has made mistakes on this before. Al Franken is one of them. Bill Clinton went on after the 90s to be a star of the Democratic Party, made a lot of, of, of you know people famous, had a lot of endorsements, made a lot of money through the Clinton Foundation. And when it comes to the state legislature, because this, the report is not a criminal indictment, and the Attorney General of New York said that today, that she can't pursue criminal charges, that other charges can be pursued, it's up to the legislature to do this. And that comes down to Cuomo Democrats uh, being loyal to him and the left in New York, who is thirsty to get Cuomo out uh, because they're on the side of the Attorney General. And that's where it does get very political. Mm. So in terms of whether he will hold on or not, is to be foreseen, but based on other scandals that Democrats have been through and survived, uh, I would say he can survive. Yeah, what's your take on that? Well, the guys weathered more storms than the Gordon Fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to use that, America. Uh, but uh, I mean, at this point, he has more accusers than supporters. <laughs> but he also, we, we were like w watching two stories at the same time the actual story itself, and will the media have the attention span? And not get exhausted by the story before before we do before we should. So he is counting on that because he understands how the cycle works. We report, 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 and then we watch our ratings dip and we move on to something else. And he's just saying, "I'm going to ride this thing out unless he borrows some blackface from Governor Northam. <laughs> he might end up sticking around." I love the montage. Uh, the logic makes no sense. Imagine if. If Dana showed people pictures of Jasper and Jasper's on your lap and you're kissing Jasper and then you're in HR, you go, but I do it with my dog. <laughs> I do it with my dog. You know, but. Uh, uh, that would be a, quite a story. Also, I didn't know about the pain thing about what he said to yeah. the cop. Well, that's a little kinky. Yeah. That that go to, goes totally to the uh, the nipple clips and things that oh. we've heard about. Oh, right. right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I, uh, the other thing that he kind of um, points out, which is interesting, in the montage, and he's kissing all these men and grabbing their faces, and he's kind of reminding that maybe genders, maybe sex, this biology is different. You know, it's like you know, right there. You go, yeah, but you can't do that to a girl, and you can't do that to a girl but, in your and, office. And that's not well, what they were saying. I mean, I mean, <laughs> Geraldo, from a legal standpoint, what do you think his position is? Well, I'm glad you asked me a, a legal question. First of all, I agree with Katie's analysis absolutely. I think she had it nailed. Al Franken as the ghost that should haunt people who are, you know, pulling the trigger already. It's, you don't but think Jesse, this is you, different than the Al Franken? I do. I do. I, well, it may be different, but the, the, but they will be regret. Uh, pick up that thing again, Jesse. <laughs> this, this, ladies and gentlemen, for all its impressive heft, <laughs> is not a legal document. That is a political document, mm -hmm. a document put together by the furthest left politician in elective office in this far left state. Letitia James, I've known her forever. She is absolutely furiously longing for Andrew Cuomo's job. I'm not saying that the, that the allegations are false. So I, I make no judgment about that. I just want people to know this is not proof. This is politics. Now comes a legal process. He has due process rights, just like anybody else. And I would urge him, as mm. Katie did, to tough it out, make your case, prove that you, uh, you know, well, you don't have to prove your innocence, but prove that these allegations against you are false. You know, your father weathered his own storms, different type storms. Wonderful man, Mario Cuomo. Uh, you know, uh, there's a very public family. Matilda, the mother, still alive, wonderful lady. I think that uh, I, I give him at least 50-50, maybe. You better. want to clarify five, one thing, Kate? I, just, I, am, I am not urging Andrew Cuomo to do anything. I'm saying if I were a Democrat yes. uh, trying to save my boss's job, that's what I would urge him to do. But, he, but Geraldo makes a really good point. When you hear people asking Bill de Blasio, so are you thinking really? about the governor? It's right. like, it's like it, there actually is something worse out there than Cuomo. There's something worse out there, and it's like. You do mean you, we might get more De Blasio? Yes, he could actually. I mean, he's. he's he, yes. There's something worse out there, and look, he's right about James. I mean, she's as far hard left as you get. So.
due process. Well, here we go again. All right, President Biden trying to clean up confusion. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.